Right, so it's a bit overcast today. It's supposed to be like this all day, so no sun today. So it should be a bit cooler, which is a bit better. Um, I've got something to show you. Yesterday I went to B&M um, and I've been looking at the plants that were outside for a long time and I really wanted to buy some just to brighten up the garden a bit because it is looking really green with everything growing, but there's no colour, it's just green. Um, so I wanted to do that, but I wasn't happy paying how much they were. So yesterday there were like three pots of plants that were left and they were all reduced to a pound because basically the store hadn't been watering them properly and they'd all died. Um, so I'm just going to show you. Now as you can see the ones on the left are alright. They're looking a lot better than they did last night. Um, but as you can see the ones on the right are just dead. Now I tried soaking them in water in that tub there they've been in the water all night and they haven't took on any water at all the soil was still dry this morning so yeah when you use compost and it you allow it to dry out completely it then won't take on any water at all so these are going to have to be repotted which i was going to do anyway um, now these ones lobelia they were also all dead this side we can see these ones they were there were a lot more on this side like that so they've come back after being in the water but again the compost isn't taking on water so I've had them soaking in water overnight and I've poured water over the top as well but let me just show you the pot so if you look £8.50 I was not going to pay that but I didn't mind paying a pound so I was so chuffed that I got that for a pound and look at it now I'll put a picture, I'll try and put a photo in the corner of what it looked like last night. I should have videoed it last night, but I was tired. And then the petunias, they were £3.50 and they were a pound yesterday. So, let's see what kind they are. I have no knowledge about flowers. I am rubbish when it comes to flowers. Grandiflora, but I just love the colour, aren't they pretty? So hopefully they'll come back as well. Right, so there are a couple of things that I need to do today and one of them is to pinch out the tops of the climbing beans because even though I thought that climbing structure was quite tall, um, it wasn't tall enough because already those beans have got to the top. So I'm thinking they'll just fill out a bit more and I probably will get quite a good harvest of beans. Um, but yeah, I've definitely reached above and beyond the top now so I need to pull those out. I did do some research um, and it's absolutely fine for you to do that to pinch the tops out. I thought it was but I just wanted to make sure and yeah it is. Um, I also need to do some weeding of the salad bed behind me. Just feels so wrong doing that even though I know it's the right thing to do cutting the top it feels like I'm like cutting the head off the plant like cutting its head off and it's gonna die <laughs> oh that's ridiculous well that's how it made me feel uh, so did you see how big it was the plant well all three plants the leaves are massive let's just have a closer look size on them I mean what's my hand my hands aren't particularly big I'm not particularly big but wow that's massive huge so yeah all the way up they went all the way up and then they were above that top bit so I'll pinch them out now they should be all right hopefully um, and then I have had show you down here a bit of snail damage there I know it's snails because the slime on the leaves so I'm not happy about that so after me spending absolutely ages getting rid of all those stones out of this bed I've ended up putting some back over there to stop the snails getting over and eating the peas I mean look what they've done to my pea plants there's one pea plant there and it's literally just got its head 
and the rest of it's just been eaten. So yeah, and they started on that end one on the left there as well. So I really need to get the stones all behind that and then it's difficult for the snails to come over because they're definitely coming over from the back there. Um, try and show you a bit closer over here. See there's bricks at the back of this bed and there's a gap between the brick and the wall and that's where they are, I think. That's where they, they go and hide but I can't get to that bit. I can't get my hands in there. So yeah, I just need to make some defences. I'm going to have to be quick because I can feel it start. You know, it's trying to rain. The black clouds have gathered above me. <laughs> and it's uh, definitely telling me it's going to rain soon. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put some blood fish and bone in here. I'm going to put some of my compost in and mix it in. And then I'm going to sow some of these turnips in it. So I'll do that. Right, so I'm going to cover them up with something so the cat doesn't get in, or the birds, but I'm not going to water them because nature's going to water them. Right, so that did feel a little bit wrong doing that. I've just cut loads off those cucumber plants. I was so proud of them about how big they were and everything. And I've just chopped loads off them, but I had to. Um, and that's because I have to have them growing up this structure. So what I've done is um, all of the branches that weren't growing the right way, um, I've cut those off because they will spread out again and they will climb up this trellis. But there's no point me having all these branches that are growing forwards because what they're doing is they're pushing into my pepper plants um, and you know what I cut off they will just grow new shoots somewhere else um, and then they're not concentrating all of their energy into you know the leaves that are at the bottom that just aren't needed and um, so I've cut those off and if you can see now there's a lot more space between those plants so they've got airflow because I was worried about that about um, the pepper plants or even the cucumbers themselves rotting off because there isn't enough airflow because there's a lot in this bed um, so I'll just turn the camera around and I'll show you how much better it looks now so that's what I've just cut off the plants and it felt awful but if you look now and I've used cord to tie them onto the trellis so I can get a bit closer you see what I've cut off so I've cut off the lower branches, that were, uh, the lower leaves that were down here and then I've cut off a branch here that was coming out this way and another one that was going across this way because that was getting in the way of the next plant. So then hopefully what's going to happen is I'm going to get more growth a bit higher up and you can actually see the pepper plants now. You couldn't see them before because they were getting overshadowed but that looks a lot better now. It's still got its height and it will grow more so hopefully it's now going to put its energy into making fruit and not into those lower leaves and all the foliage that doesn't need to be there and I'll get some nice cucumbers soon. So today is an exciting day and that is because it's the first time I'm going to harvest from this garden. How exciting is that? Well actually no that's a lie. I tell a lie because I've already harvested strawberries haven't I? So yeah, I can't really say that. But it's the first time I'm harvesting from the salad bed. So yeah, some of the leaves. I'm going to take some of the beet leaves because they're getting a bit big. And um, some of the lettuce as well because that's overshadowing the spinach. So I'm going to just take a few leaves out. It's only going to be a tiny harvest, but still. Little wins, little wins. Just take them where you can get them. Right, here we go. Yeah, looking really, really good. So yeah, these are just beetroot, uh, the red beetroot, but yeah, you can use the leaves in salads. You can take some of the bigger ones, just pull them off. So the leaves will grow back if you don't take too many. And I'll just keep producing the leaves. 
and they will still grow a beetroot underneath if you take, well not if you take all the leaves off, if you save some, leave some on there. Oh and don't do that what I just did, I accidentally pulled that one out, I don't know if I can plant him back in. Yeah so good tip, don't just pull on the leaves like I did because you'll end up with a fatality like that. It might survive, it might come back. So the spinach is still too small, should have been harvesting that now. That one doesn't look too bad actually. I'll just leave that for a bit longer. not bad is it? I think that's a pretty good harvest. I wasn't expecting that, I was only expecting to get five or six leaves, I just wanted to get the bigger ones so they weren't overshadowing the other plants. But yeah I'm really chuffed with that, that's going to get rinsed and then I can use that. Good. So here are my peas and I did put a load of stones behind them to stop the snails get into the peas. Now what the snails have done is they've gone round and I think they've ate the peas a bit more and they've also gone for my marigold now. See, it's been munched. I think it'll be fine, it'll come back. Well that's definitely been munched. There's actually a leaf on the floor there that's fell off. But yeah, I've got one pea that's gone yellow and not looking nice. I'm wondering if the roots have been eaten underneath of that one. And then these two, they've just been munched, but they're all right on top. And then these are those plants that I saved from B&M. So obviously I've repotted that, um, is that a lobelia? Yeah, that one in the pot there is a lobelia. That is, I can't believe how much that's come on. And then the petunias there, since I, I did soak them in water overnight, I think I told you come closer and oh, these I think there were like three or four that were okay but now we've got this one that sort of come back and then this one and this one so they've all sort of risen up like risen up from the dead so yeah all oh, good I just need to get it out of that tray which I will do when I find somewhere to put it right so I thought I'd just done a nice little video about planting these petunia in this pot um, unfortunately, I forgot to press record. <laughs> so, yeah, we do not have a nice video about me putting up petunias, but we do have this nice footage of the petunias in a pot, so that'll have to do. As I was just telling the camera that wasn't recording, these ones aren't looking too good, but I'm going to just keep watering them um, and see if they come back, you never know. Right, so I said a couple of videos back that I was going to um, show you my planner again because I filled in a bit more of it now. Um, so I'm just going to turn you around and show you what it looks like now. Please excuse the messy conservatory. This is where some of the seedlings are and things. Um, obviously you can see my leeks. They are getting gradually bigger but it's taking a long time. I've got some spare peas growing down there. And I've got a lot of other stuff that's growing. But here is the planner. So, yeah, if you do buy one of these, please leave me a review. It does really, really help other people see the books because there are millions on Amazon. Um, so here's the garden information. And then I did a little drawing. I'm rubbish at drawing. Um, but I was quite pleased with that. So, yeah, that's showing where everything is. So I've got my cucumbers here. And the nasturtiums at the front and the pepper plants. Um, sunflowers, beans, peas, um, that's my chard, here are some lettuces um, and my salad bed and my strawberries and my herb fountain, um, tomatoes down here, carrots here, potatoes, uh, more potatoes, yeah so everything's pretty much there and then what else have we got? That's for crop rotation. So if you want to change everything around, if you've got an allotment plot, you can do that on the other pages. 
projects. There were lots of projects and I've ticked them off when I've done them. Seed inventory. This has grown quite a lot. So I've been recording all the seeds that I've got there and when they go off. Seed sowing list. So this has really helped me because um, where I've got potted on here, some things have been sown directly. Some things have died. Um, so you've got when the seedlings appear and when they're potted on, um, some of them have got gaps because they just the seedlings just didn't appear. They just they just died, uh, like garlic chives. So after the sowing list, we have the planting out list, which tells me when I've planted everything out. And it might seem a bit obsessive, all this, all these lists, but this is going to help me. So I've got harvest log there. I need to put the salad in there. Um, this is going to help me next year so I can sort of cross-reference what I did last year. Um, not filled that in. I've only had really ants... And I need to put the snails in there as well and log everything that I've done. So obviously you've got your, your list by month of when you do everything. I've put some stuff in there for June. Yeah. And then at the end you've got your plant information sheet. So this is a bit more detailed. So any plants that you need more detail on. Um, like you can't remember when to sow it, the information off your seed packets, you can put that in there and that is helpful as well. So yeah, if you want one of these, the link will be in the description box to where you can get them from. I'll give you the link to this exact one um, on Amazon, but I'll also give you a link to my website, which I'll put down below. Um, and you can see the full range there because I've got vegetable garden planners, kitchen garden planners, allotment planners. Um, I've got loads of things like that. So yeah, that's that. So that is it for this video. So I want to just thank everybody for subscribing. Thank everybody for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit on the bell button so that you're notified whenever um, I upload a video. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye.